Hello, Mark from All Spirit and Activism. I'm talking about false prophets in a couple of videos, and I've explained why I don't think that Bill Johnson is a false prophet. And that's not just because I'm a you know this huge fan of Bill Johnson, but he uh, is an example of a charismatic leader that is constantly portrayed as a false prophet on the internet. And uh, as I've explained in my previous videos, uh, the Kundalini Myth video and the True False Prophets video. Uh, when we talk about biblical discernment, uh, we cannot say that this particular pastor is a false prophet. Now, interestingly, just this week, Pastor Bill said in his sermon in Bethel Church in California that a guy who has been involved in their ministry and that has become quite famous, not least through the movies uh, Finger of God and Furious Love, is a false prophet. Prophet Bill said that he is driven by demonic deception and warned his church members of being in contact with him. Let's listen to what Bill said. One of the sons of our house, which makes it so sad, is uh, someone that we have held in high, high, high esteem and I've had such wonderful uh, times with in my personal life as well as in ministry, is a Jason Westerfield, who has been a real hero through the years. But a number of years ago, Jason became very embittered, and uh, I know of at least seven people that have spent anywhere from an hour to up to eight hours with him to try to help and to serve and to direct, and, and at least to this point, the counsel has not been received. It concerns me even more than the resentment um, is the deception that has followed. It's actually been a spirit of deception uh, welcomed into his life in, to such a degree that it's absolutely frightening. In over 40 years of ministry, I've never seen one individual be able to spiritually contaminate so many in one night. Um, we've had, uh, besides the counseling, we've had torment on people's lives. It just went into the building, picked up a spirit of offense, left, and have lived under torment. And there's been uh, intense, intense ministry from that one. I've never seen this in over 40 years of ministry. So um, this is just, it's, it's more than caution flags. I brought up my guns. And uh, uh, it's uh, uh, no resentment towards an individual. There's just a spirit behind it that really, really I'm concerned about. Now, Darren Wilson, who produced The Finger of God and Furious Love uh, movies, where both Jason Westerfield and Bill Johnson were in, uh, he's written a very good article about this on Charisma News, um, saying that, you know, obviously these are two friends of his, and he was very surprised when he heard Bill um, publicly warning against uh, his friend Jason, uh, but then he actually says that he has also met Jason and he says that he is walking into very odd and bizarre territory like aliens and interplanetary travel, etc. It seems like Jason has uh, entered uh, New Age and is still uh, ministering as a Christian leader uh, while he, he talks about and, and believes in stuff and uh, that it's clearly new age and there are three things i want to say about this um, firstly i don't think that bill johnson is making any errors here it seems like he has and uh, together with the other stuff at bethel um, been taking this with jason in private and that's exactly what jesus says as we should do in matthew 18. Uh, some people have said well you shouldn't condemn people publicly like that but what jesus is actually saying is that when it doesn't work with talking to someone who is sinning in private, uh, then you should go out to the whole church and, and actually um, condemn that person and exclude that person from the church um, until they repent, honestly. Now, my second point is that this is not an evidence that Bill Johnson is a false prophet. Quite the opposite. I've seen <laughs> a YouTube video called uh, Demonic Importation, Bethel Bill Rebukes, blah, blah, blah. Um, and uh, yeah, the basic line of thought there is that, look, we were right all along, Bethel Church is about New Age and so on. But the fact here is that Bethel Church is not about New Age. That's why Bill Johnson is rebuking Jason Westerfield, um, because he has been walking into uh, this false territory. And Bill Johnson clearly says this is demonic, this is deception, this is not something we should be involved in. This is not proof that Bethel Church is a new age church that is part of the Kundalini or something like that. Uh, quite the opposite. Thirdly, we should pray for, for Jason and this whole situation. Uh, as I said, it seems like 
he has been entering new age and then you know the role of the church is to exclude such people from our community because uh, the church is supposed to be a community of believers in Jesus while of course evangelizing and praying for them and urging them to come back the words of James uh, applies to this Brothers and sisters, if one of you should wander from the truth and someone should bring that person back, remember this, whoever turns the sinner from the error of the way will save them from death and cover over a multitude of sins. Uh, believing that aliens exist per se is not anti-Christian since, you know, it's not incompatible with biblical faith that God created some other worlds out there. Um, however, um, to to focus on that sort of stuff and talk about interplanetary travel and, and that sort of stuff that's what New Ages does and it seems also that it is not about this alien theory but there are other stuff here as well that is is really um, dangerous and harming and, and non-Christian so obviously we need to pray for Jason as for this whole situation and um, so that's my uh, commentary on um, this situation if you want to comment on anything you have a comment section down below so uh, thank you for watching and uh, god bless you